What is going on, people? Welcome to Throw Down, episode 312. I'm your host, Tony Polanco, and tonight I'm joined by Emilio Lopez. What's up, people? How's it going? Chris Seeley. Hey, what's up, everyone? Carlos Romero. Yo, yo, yo. Adam Vale. What's up, people? All right, and joining us once again, it's been a while, man. It's been a while. Weapon X himself, Mr. Reggie Butler. What's good, y'all? Glad Reggie. To be back. Reggie, Reggie, <laughs> man. What's going on, brother, man? It's been too You'll long. You'll never live that one down. It's yeah. on. It's on. It's on, it's on video. Yeah, right now, yo, the, the worship is shit. Yep. <laughs> For life, man. Good to see. You. It's, it's, it's funny. I'm, I'm saying like we haven't seen. Yeah, we haven't seen Reggie in a long time on the show. But like, yo, Reggie, I talk to Reggie every day, man. Every single day, you know, keeping it real in the field, you know. So, before we, actually, before we, um, you know, catch up with you, next gen November, people. Next gen November, the final week for this year, because we will be doing this again next year. Is here. So tonight at the well, round, it, it probably won't be called next gen November. Oh no, it won't be. But it'll be like ne- November giveaway. Well, or so we'll come up. Well, with that's probably when we're gonna start getting next gen games. Oh. <laughs> 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 you already know, man. So yeah, we're giving away a free game tonight. Uh, any game of your choice for any platform you want. So we're on the halfway show. We're going to do our little spinning wheel thing out of all the names we've been compiling over on the Twitters. M- remember, if you guys already signed up, you're good to go. You have one more chance to win. So we'll do that halfway through the show. It'll be a lot of fun, you know, and maybe some other giveaways as we proceed because uh, I got a little something I may want to give away, you know, to the fans. Oh, uh, oh Mortal Shell. Yeah, oh, my God. Yo, yo, that game is fire. Yeah. So I think I may give this away uh, to Mortal Shell for you guys listening at home. I got a free copy from the, um, the PR people like, hey, whatever you want to do with this, you want to do a live stream, you want to do a giveaway, do whatever you want with them. Like, I think I'll give this away then, you know, to one of the wait, fans. Why not? Wait you know? now. So there you go, man. All right, Reggie, man, what's been going on with you lately, brother? What is going um, on in your world? Not much, you know, just uh, enjoying life, enjoying these uh, next-gen um, games and just getting some good gaming um, time with my daughter. Um, she really loves the PS5, so, you know, that's the main one I've been doing, just chilling, enjoying life, playing these games, man. That's it. That's what's up, man. I see Kratos and Atreus behind you, man. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you know, that's my favorite, favorite, uh, favorite series. Awesome, of all man. time so yeah all right guys so tonight we're gonna have a little bit of a i mean it's like half the normal show and then half a different show so originally we we're gonna do a playstation 5 review as a separate show but now we're like let's just combine everything you know that was the original thing i'm like nothing's gonna happen this week shit happened this week uh but <laughs> you know but uh we're gonna just combine everything into one you know uh we'll make a separate video mm-hmm. of the ps5 and also um next week actually today starting today this is like the the fine it used to be called the final four now it's the final eight episodes of throw it out for the year you know um so next week will be a normal show the week after that will be our vga's live stream and then the you know the final um you know game of the year type of show you know that'll be cool and i'm still debating whether i want to combine the game of the year with the game of the generation podcast we'll see what happens with that we, we may want to do both and then just do separate videos just for our sake because we we got to go on vacation man you know, it's the final countdown. It's the f- you mean <laughs> it's the final throwdown? We gotta be, there you go. yeah, we gotta be careful with that though, because when we, every time we say that, oh, do you guys are editing the show? Like, no, for the year. <laughs> Listen to the part we say for the year, bruh. Shit. <laughs> All right, yeah. So, um, let's. I think, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Next year, November giveaways. Uh, let's get into it, man. So, first story we're gonna talk about is that the PlayStation Five has seen the biggest launch ever for a PlayStation console. It has sold, uh, what is it, 2.1 million copies, I believe, or units. Um, Correct me if I'm wrong there. It's either 2.1 or 2.5, but it sold a lot, you know. Um, But, you know, Sony's obviously not going to say this. There's a little caveat that comes with that. Also, um, Xbox apparently sold 1.5 million, so take that how you will. Like, the red generation's already starting with a 2.2 to 1 gap. You know, I'm just surprised only because they said they weren't going to have that many uh, available at launch. So the, for it to get this high at not their full capacity with what they wanted to distribute, it's I guess it's amazing. Yeah. How well, many did they, they, they plan on then? If you know, what I mean? well, I know they, they were going to have like around 10 million through the launch um, window or whatever up to March. But um, I don't know how many they had now. But the thing is, this is the part I want to bring up. And I'm just going to bring it up right now. Right. 
how many of these sales, and I'm not saying anything bad about Sony because this is just a huge problem. Right? You know I have a big problem with this, right? How many of right. these sales were because of bots, you know, buying up shit that people couldn't, you know? Um, so I think that's a factor as well. Yeah. Um, Go ahead. Well, it's still a lot of it's money that they got regardless. Sony still well, got the money, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, money, so yeah. yeah it's, Go ahead, it's, it's yeah, it's it. The thing is, yeah, that's that in in general is a huge problem. But a lot of companies have had uh, this has been a problem for for a long time, especially if you pay attention to the action figure market, oh, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. um, yeah, bots are well. rampant, especially if you have it on places like uh, like uh, not on Amazon, but like places like um, uh, 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 Target or Walmart. You know those big sort of chains. Their websites can just totally they could you could just totally run a bot on there, and it'll mm-hmm. automatically you tell it how many you're gonna get and how much time to come in on it, and it just just snatches them all up. It's and funny. now you're seeing now you're seeing these this seeing a bunch of people with these walls, these stacks of PlayStations that they decided to pick up. But you know what? Once uh, you know once uh, once there starts being some real PlayStations out in the field. You know those guys. You know might have wasted their money. I hope they did. Be, I hope they did. Nobody's gonna be buying those places for the ex- crazy ass prices that yeah, they've they been, they've been window, selling them for. A short window to sell it. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. the thing. You'll see people like, oh, but look, they're going for this and that. It's like, yeah, those are the asking price, but I'm not seeing anybody actually paying. No one's actually them. buying them. See, yeah, yeah, I don't see eight thousand dollars and eight thousand and ten dollars. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like these people are just asking ridiculous amounts to see if right. people are willing to take that bite. Yeah. And it, yeah. Especially the way with you know the way the economy is right now, you know, being this time and you know with um, COVID and stuff going on, a lot of people mm-hmm. kind of strapped strap for cash. So this holiday season definitely going to be different for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, and with that pertaining to the scalpers and these prices, I do think um, not necessarily long term but short term, they what they, they will take a hit or take a loss, a big loss um, in this short, like you said, Adam, in this short window because. Um, once these systems start to really saturate the market, which is what Sony and Microsoft is trying to do, just overwhelm the market with them, the more people are able to get them, which kind of has been going on this week as people have been able to, to get orders online through um, some of the more reputable sites like the GameStops, Best Buys, or whatever, then th- those numbers are going to come down and, and either they're going to have to sell sell at retail or, or whatever, but they're going to take a loss. I mean... And that, that's just the bottom line. Yeah, there are things they can, yeah. there are things that companies can do to mitigate it, but you can't really, you can't necessarily stop it. It's almost something that it kind of has to play itself out. Well, I mean, thing. especially especially when it comes to those sorts of things, there's there's usually on um, sites that actually have issues with this. There's usually a verification process, like okay, right. yeah, you can only get one or two, or you have to go through, you have to click through onto something else, which they can't. The, they would have to reprogram their bot or whatever to do, but they can't. They can't do it. Are and you human? It, those yeah. things. Yeah, yeah stuff like human? that. Like, are yeah, they, you human? There's ways around yeah. that shit now. Yeah, know? there's ways around it. Are you human? Like, limiting the amount of 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 um, you know, of orders to one or two, you know, stuff like that. And and the other thing, and this is from what we've seen with Best Buy and a few others without actually doing this, and my brother just wound up going through it. Is that uh, it's now at the store you have to pick up? So yeah, order it online, but you have to actually physically go down to the store and pick it up. Well, That's how I they believe- just mm-hmm. to cut down to make sure an actual person is coming. Because who knows? That's the thing. When you post these things online, it could be somebody in West Bubblefuck who just wound up getting ten of them because he has all these bots and he's gathering these boxes up from all over the state from this website. So mm-hmm. right, right. I, believe, I, believe, I believe Walmart just did theirs today with the pickup in store. Um, I was at work at the time, so I didn't get a chance to. Observe. Yeah, buddy, my name. He did the Series X. He got the through a pickup at Walmart. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing is, like, because I know some people are saying, like, oh, in the future, you need to just have it be um, retail only, no online. I'm like, that's not realistic, bro. Yeah. Especially now with, with the Rona and all that shit. Like, you know, oh, yeah. online was very, very necessary, you know. But um, I, I realized there's no way around it, obviously. Uh, but you know, uh, you know, because the thing is, like, they'll find a way, you know we'll find a way to stop it and then they'll find a way around it. So it's just going to be the circle. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, but, but yeah, go ahead. At, at least with the cart, if they can see, if they limit to one per person and yeah, the only other issue is if they keep creating bot accounts. I feel we got hit one of those with that one that, uh, that Manny, that giveaway that you had, 
here it is. Remember, you found it was like some bullshit, and the person never responded back. You reached out to them. And it was like maybe they created. Which one is that? Remember you did a giveaway, and the person that won. No, we. we he 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 contacted us. He contacted no, no, not us. that. Not oh. that. No, not the first. Not the, the. No, the the second guy did, but the first guy. Yeah, no, he was. Yeah, oh, he okay. was not. We, it wasn't a real person. Yeah, or it was it, a bot account. Yeah, like running. that's what I'm saying. Like they created even a bot account just for this giveaway, and they didn't even follow through. <laughs> Crazy. Well, oh, it wasn't. Have. It wasn't for the giveaway. A lot of times, people um have bot accounts that troll um um troll Twitch to sort of advertise on other people's um yeah. open Twitch chat chats. You know, I'm I'm glad you said that because I actually just posted this story about how there's a Twitch a bot that looks for PS5 and Xbox sales. Like it just looks for them. It's like fuck. This is shit. It's everywhere, mm -hmm. you know. Um, yeah. But either, yeah. But either way, you know, the the bots, you know, despite all that, it's very very cool to see PlayStation doing so well despite all the craziness going on in the world right now, you know. Um, and from what I've seen, most people are pretty happy about it. I know I am. Remember, I was pretty skeptical. Like, I'm, I don't know about this, you know. Um, <laughs> and I'm pretty happy with it. Although I still maintain what I've said before. I'm not being a hypocrite. I'm like, I still don't actually need this console right now. But it's nice to have it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but this I, shit is I, crazy. Go ahead, Adam. The only real PS5 feature that I've been impressed with that I actually used was just happened recently today when we did that party chat with Rico with, and you doing the Demon Souls. Here it is. We're all in there and we're doing the share play. And, and it was like our own little private mm -hmm. stream, live stream. That was cool. Mm -hmm. That's a new feature. But yeah, yeah like you said, that's where you really playing? I mean, we'll, we'll get to more today for the yeah. PlayStation 3, for, for three, the PlayStation uh, 5 review. But yeah, Adam, it's dope when you do And you were playing your own game while doing that. He's like, yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, side, yeah, this yeah, thing. Yeah. I did and that the other day. I was I was I was playing. I was I was showing a friend. Um, you know, one one game. And she was doing her thing. I'm like, oh, this is cool. <laughs> you know, this is cool. It's like, just do that. Um, it, so it's dope. You know. Um. Okay. So yeah. You know, PlayStation. Good on them. You know. Uh. Shout out to Sony, man. Um. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh. And there's gonna be more games coming. More games coming. Ratchet and Clank. That's gonna be good. You know. Yeah. I just I want to know which game. And I know you said Astrobot does a good job trying all the ones. Yeah. Astrobot does a fantastic job. But I'm you know. wondering what's going to be the big title that really shows it off. Like right now, the one thing that I'm super impressed, besides the feature stuff, all that, is the haptic controller. That feedback controller, it's great. It, no, if you're playing online multiplayer, turn the shit off. Turn off that haptic feedback. It will screw you up in Call of Duty. <laughs> it's doing it to me. I had to turn the shit off. But besides that, when you're playing campaign and stuff, all the weapons and stuff, same thing with Borderlands. Everything feels unique. It has that resistance and that that vibration. Very cool. That that's an awesome controller yeah no th this right here i'm gonna say man best controller ever i said it i said it man i thought oh, i'm gonna oh, wear the pony no. hat <laughs> yeah it's really nice i almost i almost wore the the i, I would have worn the pony hat but i need to get it you know washed <laughs> uh, <laughs> what, if, what if they make that into like the pro where you can swap out the d-pad and the sticks you know that would be kind of cool. That would be cool. Yeah, I mean, you listen. You already know, fucking Astro and Scuff. Oh, yeah. They're gonna be doing yeah, some their own stuff, controllers. You know, get right. To, they use that haptic because I think that's a, yeah. their own license. Right? Sony's own. Copyrights yeah. Um. On that. Chris, you have, any, you have any? You have any thoughts on PlayStation's uh, success? PS Five, despite all the Ronin, all this craziness. Yeah. Well, I think some of it came from they wrote off their the this previous generation success like ps4 sold well they had a huge ecosystem 120 plus million consoles in the market i, I forgot if it was 60 or 70 million ps plus subscriptions so you have this large ecosystem that you're going to get people absorbed into right and it's a it, it it's really a downhill shift if they mess up which i kind of was thinking like uh they're doing some shit but they pulled it out. Like, I got to give credit to Mark Cerny. He wasn't blowing smoke up people's asses. Like, hmm. the, the SSD was fast. The 3D audio is a real thing. I was yes. like, okay, yeah. wow. Yeah, 3D audio is crazy, yeah. I give them all the credit in the world. The shit works yeah. on my gold headset. So, good for them. And, uh, yeah, so, with uh, so with with Sony, they had, they had the people there. They just had to keep everyone engaged, right? So, PS4 backwards compatibility, good. Um, you know... Uh, cloud saves all that stuff and they they have some nagging issues the accessory shit still needs to get fixed for sure because well, we'll my game still that. crashes yeah, um, we'll yeah we will talk about that yeah uh but it's whereas they so whereas they had this generation they won that it's an uphill struggle for microsoft because they have to gain people and the way you do that is uh and, and we always say that manny says it it's the games right yeah, they you gotta have a showcase they lost right. the showcase title 
the, you know, Craig gate happened. And then, so we don't have Halo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. We're talking Microsoft in a bit. Go ahead, man. I you think, yeah, I mean, like going on that, it's like everything, even though despite whatever, you know, you say every single time you need to have a showcase, whatever it is, every single console generation has had something in there that said, okay, this is what these games look like. Even stupid as PlayStation 3 had it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so I think, I think uh, well, I'm one of the few people that thought that this console would sell like crazy at, when it came, when it would come out even at a $600 price range. Um, so yeah, this isn't surprising. Um, also something to note is that these, uh, so uh, Sony said that all consoles are sold out everywhere. Yeah, they are. You can't find one. Like either you, you scalp one or, you know, or hope someone like someone's order falls through and then you get your, you get chance in the line. Man. So, oh, and also that they're going to get more, a. Uh, uh, Apparently, they're going to get more uh, consoles before the end of the year. So, they hopefully, are. everyone I, I that can... you want. Oh, go ahead. Oh, yeah. I, I, was, I didn't mean to cut you off. They, they are. They're, they're going to have more in, in retail. Yeah. And I and, and it's it's interesting because I don't know if I mean, we talked about this with, with Nintendo, but is you and Tony, you said 2.5 million consoles? Um, yeah, like 2.1 or 2.5 was one of those numbers. I, I got to look it up to verify, but it's one of those two. Carlos. I'm interested yeah. to see if, if, um, how this compares to the PS4 in terms of just how many, how many consoles were shipped as opposed to sold. Because I always assumed that Sony would release a limited amount of stock for the, for the PS5, even, even pre Rona. Um, so I knew that the, that, at launch during the holidays, there would be an extremely high demand for this console. And the fact that the sales would be, you know, limited because of the limited stock, that it would create this sort of hype, sort of the sort of the same that, you know, Nintendo Switch is doing that every 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 year now. Every every year has been out, there's always been shortages. But um and also with the uh, with the the Wii. So I'm not surprised. Sony, you know, their brand is other than Nintendo, you know, just relatively compared to Microsoft is ridiculously high. Um, PlayStation consoles almost always sell 100 million. I'm I wouldn't be shocked if this sold well over 100 million. Um, so yeah, yeah. Um, just some numbers here. So so check this out. Um, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Chris, just real quick. Um, 2.1 million uh, PlayStation 4s have been sold, and Sony hopes that they can outsell the ps4's fiscal year which was 7.6 million may happen we'll Impressive. see Damn. uh go ahead chris Impressive. well no i was just gonna say uh on carlos's point this is actual scarcity nintendo practices artificial scarcity yes just that's, that's the difference yeah they didn't have a yeah. virus to contend with the Wii shortages was fake this is a real thing yeah this is yeah. not artificial scarcity. this is scarcity scarcity you know Yep, and then, you know, all this hype, everyone wants to get a PS5. That's the new hot item. If you have a PS5, it's like fucking gold. People think, you know, people think they're looking at the Loch Ness Monster when they're seeing this shit in the wild. <laughs> yeah. You know, so. <laughs> yeah, right before the show, my, my boy Sammy, shout out to Sammy. I know he listens to Throw Down. He was at Best Buy. He's like, I almost had one, man. I almost had one. <laughs> shit, that, that shit happened to me. I bought three PS5s. I mean, I bought three PS5s, two for, you know, for Chris and, and, and Brett. One for me and freaking Walmart. I don't know what the hell they did. So I was, I went a week, a week. It felt like a year without a freaking PS5. Everyone taking pictures and shit, sending, sending pictures hey. of their kids with the consoles. Yeah. <laughs> that That's what it felt like when I saw everybody else having, I was like, oh God, I cannot wait. I mean, and mine was locked in the bag. Like I didn't mm -hmm. have to worry about nothing. Um, I was like, man, I, when Thursday came, it, it was a wrap. It was a wrap. <laughs> it yeah, and felt the same for me. And it's like when I shout out to Fergus Mills who hooked it up, man. I, when I got that console, yeah, yeah. I'm like, all right, finally, finally, I'm part. I'm in the know now. I'm not out of the know. Yeah, I'm actually trying to uh, help a few other people secure some systems. So, um, to your point, Carlos, yeah, they when you was wondering about the, the, how it was doing compared to the PlayStation Four in the same time frame. Mm -hmm. This by 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 far and away blows what the PlayStation 4 did out of the water because I remember 
even after the first week after the system after the PlayStation 4 came out, I could literally walk into a store. I remember walking into a Target in Walmart like that next week and saw PlayStation 4s. Like whether yeah. it be early in that morning or whatever. And, you know, the lifespan of on of having them on the shelf, um, at that time, if you saw one, it might have only lasted maybe like 10, 15 minutes. And then it just kind of started growing to where you just started seeing them regularly. So with the PS5, um, yeah, I yeah, I, yeah, I mean, just, was, yeah. No, I was just saying, just the fact that Sony said this is the biggest PlayStation launch ever already yeah. lets you know it's bigger than PlayStation Four. You know? Yeah, it's, it's huge. I, I've never seen anything like this. I, you know, just be hanging out, you know, just hearing conversation in stores, you know, as I'm shopping or whatever, and, and the way people are going after this PlayStation Five. I mean, it's ridiculous. I'm like, well, wait, the Xbox Series X is out too, like. <laughs> and there's a cheaper on? one out there. Nobody cares. Think about yeah, that. There's and, a three hundred dollar next gen console. Nobody gives a fuck. You know, right? And you know, and so, you know the crazy, the crazy thing about it. I went to Best Buy. I want to say last Friday, and I seen the Series X and Series S for the first time, and I was like, "Holy crap! These things are small." Yeah, they're like, they're actually small. Yeah, especially when you are used to the PS Five, that fucking tower. Yeah, and you I know? Was, yeah, and I was just sitting there in amazement, and I was like, "Oh my god!" But yeah, to your point, you know, yeah, you got this three hundred dollar console, but I, I don't know. It's, yeah. it's, it's to weird, be though. fair, to be fair, Microsoft yeah. did not make enough stock of them. To be fair, right? And right. let's just be honest here: there's no games to play on it right now. You know, right. PlayStation. They, you know, they have the momentum off the PS4 and they have games, right? right. $500. P- and here's the thing, and I, and I think I said this on the last show, $500, because I usually always used to say $400 is the sweet spot. I think $500 is now the sweet spot. You know, like, think about it. I think so. Two, f- yeah, there are now two, okay, if we go back in history, and this is what I've been saying forever, right? If we look at history, every $500 console has not done well at all. History has shown that. PS5 and Xbox, they're both sold out. I think people, nobody, nobody said a thing about the price. They're like, I want the shit. So I think five hundred dollars is the new normal now. You know, people not even a complaint, not a peep. You know, so it's very interesting. So I was wrong. So basically, I have to update my fucking info now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a new paradigm. You know, nobody, the fucking PS5, Xbox, both sold up. Five hundred dollars, nobody yeah. cares. You know. Yeah, I mean, and, and just to touch on that. Um, that was almost kind of evident. You know, people, I, I think it was a time, uh, I want to say August, when that uh, rumor was going around saying that, hey, the PlayStation 5, you, you'll be able to pre-order this day. And they literally had people the day before hitting F5 on their computer to to see, you know, they was camping out in front of their computer to see where they would get one. And Sony hadn't even announced price or anything yet. Um, no, not, was it, no, what, not, not, not September. Not on, I think this was before, the play before the place to showcase or whatever it was and it was literally like yo like they was willing to pay whatever sony hadn't even announced the price yet yeah yeah no dudes were like six hundred dollars let's fucking go motherfuckers and here's yeah. the thing again global pandemic motherfuckers ain't working and they, nobody cared about the price <laughs> you know because yeah. some people mm-hmm. were saying because some people speculated that the xbox series s would actually sell better than all of them just because of the the global pandemic and the price that th- no one cares. No one cares, man. They really don't. They're like, I want that motherfucking PlayStation. You know? Oh shit! Yeah. Yo, so, by the way. so here's. Oh, so wait, here's wait, a, wait, hold on, so real quick. Oh, Manny, cool. real quick, Carlos, right, go ahead, man. Just this is gonna be a real quick comment. Uh, uh, Fergus Mills put in the chat. Christmas is gonna be brutal this year. Imagine being a teen getting a Series S when you ask for a PS5. <laughs> Can't wait to see those YouTube videos. No, fuck that. Imagine getting an Xbox One S when you wanted a Series oh, X. God. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Having, having yeah, before, yeah. Uh, before Manny, Korean, but yeah, go ahead. No, was, just Manny first, and then you can go, Reggie. So some somewhat of a side note. So I actually um, was out and about a, a few, uh, maybe a week or two ago. And I, I stopped by the GameStop, the, you know, because uh, 
They actually reopened the game stops here out in Pennsylvania because remember um, during the pandemic they lost their operation license because they they wanted to could it be considered a uh, essential what is business. it a essential business and they the, the government said no fucking way you aren't and they locked them out anyway I went back, went over there just because I was in the area to look around and uh, you know communicating with the people there and then at one point they're both the the two clerks there are looking at the computer and they're like are you fucking kidding me they're like that and I'm like uh. Wait a minute. They're like, I'm like, they, they, I'm like, you, you probably, I'm like, I said to them, hey, uh, that's probably because you're getting a bunch of Xboxes, aren't, isn't it? Right. And they're like, yep. They're like, we barely have any PlayStation 4s, but we're getting a shitload of Xboxes and wow. they're not fucking selling. They're Jeez. like, we have a huge bunch of Xboxes in the back and they're selling even more. Then there's even more coming. So, and I'm like, I'm, you know, I'm like, I'm guys, you probably know why that is, right? Because you got the 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 your company's got the 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 um, exclusivity deal. That's right. Exclusivity yeah, deal. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. partnership going. So that's crazy. The, so yeah, they got the direct line to Microsoft, but yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> don't matter though. Nobody cares. Nobody cares, man. I mean, I mean, they're they're selling, but they're not selling this. You know, you know, they didn't they didn't have it. Like they didn't have that thing out there to to really do it. And I'm sorry, selling on legacy is not going to work. I think it's not even that. It's even promoting. I was expecting to see all these commercials advertising the fact they have Game Pass with EA Access now included with all the Bethesda games. There's none of those. I don't see any of these commercials. So even if, let's say, you're a casual sport guy playing some games, like, I'll get one of these consoles. I would think that would be a big get to know that there's one service that has all these games, all those sport games, everything's included. You just need this. That is just, you don't even know what. They're not that advertising just, anything. That is assuming that regular. I mean, that I mean, as far as advertising goes, yes, it, it does help. But as also, that's assuming that your audience is in the know as to what the fuck a lot of this shit is. Right. Yeah, no, you're right. Think about it. You know, like, you know, okay, yeah, okay, we've gotten people now to figure out, okay, hey, you can buy games on your, your consoles, and you don't need to leave your home. That's fine. But at the same time, there's another. That's another. I mean, you realize how many servers. You, Look at how many services that you subscribe to right now and think, okay, now what? Now I got to go buy another fucking service or go into another service oh, yeah. or how I does mean, this it, work? It's the that's, that's, what I'm that's, the, that's the inherent problem with it because you have to go through a lot of hoops in order to get it to work. Granted, once you get it done, it's done. But at the, the same time, the, the, you have to give people a reason to go toward it. And at the same time, it's like, yes, you got a bunch of legacy, but what xbox game besides halo and and gears of war has really 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 has the power to sell consoles or sell a service i mean, I mean tell none me, of them you, you played uh xcloud on your android did you have to jump through all kinds of hoops together to work on your phone no it was fine it was easy it was really easy the only thing i had to do was, well, was like long ass load times that was it but no it was, it was simple you gotta, as fuck. you gotta sign up to the service you gotta do all that other stuff it, it's not no, you click on there's the a, app, you select a game, and you play. That's it. It's easy. Well, no, you know? it's no. You have to sign up for the service. Obviously, but that goes without saying. But after you do all but that, I'm saying, but, yeah. But I'm saying there has to be some. There has to be something there to, um, for even if it is just click a couple of things a couple of times or write your name in a bunch of times. You have to give people a reason to want to go through the trouble of doing. Oh it. yeah, that's a fact. And there's no games for it, so. That's why. No by, the way, by the way, no, I, I, I just realized. No. I just realized we we just already segued into the next segment <laughs> um, about Xbox. Um, but no, you're right. There's no games. There's no incentive, you know, um, to get this thing. Well, at, it's at it's the not moment. to say that there's no games. There's a lot of games. But the thing is that no, I mean, I'm not going to say no nobody cares about yeah. legacy. Nobody cares. Nobody. Yeah. If there's no exclusives, but the thing about it is, you can't. You cannot sell something on legacy. There has to be on everything. Even people like to throw Steam out there. Oh, hey, Steam's got a bunch of old shit. Yeah, Steam does have a bunch of old shit, but they also have a bunch of new shit. Yeah, right. It, and, it's that that constant flow of content. And right now, while I would say, you know, X Pass, I mean, I'm not Game X, Pass, I Game X, Pass, Game Pass. Yeah, I said X Pass. Lord have mercy. <laughs> uh, Game Pass. You know. The, I mean, it, it, as Phil Spencer said, you know, they, that's something that they are working on. But, you know, what can you do, you know, in a situation where, you know, most of the games that were coming out, you know, um, were delayed or whatever, right? The biggest one, you know, being Halo, which I think has the most pressure. Um, and, I mean, I think that they know 
that you know you can't rely on just the legacy stuff all the time. Yes, there are games there to be had, but when you look at you know something like you know um, PlayStation Five, where yeah you may or may not need the system, but if you get this console, there are experiences there for you to play. And and I mean and you know I mean experiences that you can't get anywhere else, and that that's going to continuously keep happening. So. You know, I think once the content start rolling, or however, however it's going to come, however they're going to do it, um, or once these, you know, companies, you know, uh, start to, I guess, prove true, you know, as far as game releases, if, if they're hits, you know, that's where, the, that's when we're going to see it. But that's far, I think that's kind of far and away down the road, you know. I mean, to Adam's point, yeah, we have, yeah, they got Bethesda. We haven't seen anything from them um, today, uh, I mean, from them yet. We don't even know if, you know, whatever Starfield is going to be, you know, I'm just using that as an example. Everybody say, oh, it's going to be big. It's going to be big. So we don't know that. We haven't seen it. Yeah, no, you're you right know? about that. Yeah. All right, so. All right man. Um, let's move on because we're already kind of there, right? So on the podcast, I'll throw out your question specifically. The last episode, 311, we were asked by Tumeke, shout out to Tumeke, why are multi-plat games performing better on PlayStation 5 despite the fact that on paper PlayStation 5 is weaker, right? And we were kind of come up with some uh, theories and all that. And now we pretty much have confirmation. Uh, and Chris, you were the one that said this, that the, the game, kiv, they, they, game dev kits are like, oh, like it, they took them a long time to get to them, basically. They, got, they received them in June. They were waiting for AMD to do some updates and shit. So that was the the reason there. That's apparently what's going on. And once the developers actually understand what's going on with the hardware or software, they're gonna actually start seeing games that are looking better on PlayStation Five, on Xbox and PlayStation Fives. So, uh, Chris, what's your take on that? Uh, well, the 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 issue with that is, um, e even if you up update the the kit APIs and stuff and take advantage of. Uh, something in the system that was there but wasn't fully utilized. So you basically screwed over all the guys who early adopted, right? All the devs who said, okay, we got to jump on this immediately. They now missed out on that stuff, and they'll have to patch in shit later and whatever. I don't know how likely that is because, uh, I mean – you have to you have to fab boards and everything. Once you had once AMD made that RDNA two update and whatever, you, that's when you fab the boards. But that's when you have your API spec and whatever. So you you build your development kits off of that, with the assumption that that's there. It's going to be there. So you have to make your your APIs and stuff uh, 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 compatible with it. So you, you're going to assume that it's in there. So I don't see how they would exclude it and then screw over all the early adopters all the developers who are making games now or who are preparing stuff for launch and then have some have some explosive update that's going to improve everything later on i think some you, you will see improvement in games as developers go along when they have more time to develop on the system but this whole idea of of this rdna2 secret sauce i don't believe it yeah yeah, that's the main reason I was asking about it because it sounds familiar. You know, this right. sounds like like remember it was the Xbox One. It was like, oh, this thing has secret sauce. Wait till you see what it can do, and that didn't really materialize. This sounds a little bit more credible, but at the same time, it, let's just say for the sake of argument, this did happen. Like, why would Microsoft allow that? You know, like these guys to get their the dev kits like that late in June. You know, whereas Sony, they you know. They had those dev kits forever. But then again, we're also hearing contradictory shit because the dev, the, the Dirt 5 guys were saying they had the dev kits forever. You know, so I'm like, which is it? And now the Dirt, Dirt 5 guys are saying, oh, yeah, we're going to patch it later to make the game run better. It's like, what? You know, like how many games are going to yeah. get patches after the fact? You know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, and, and then also, and ahead, also, Mandy. yeah, Mandy, go ahead. And then also. What if what, what what's the guarantee that anybody's gonna want to go back by the time they they've already yeah. patched the game? Exactly. You know, I mean, to be honest, yeah. like when it comes to when it comes to a lot of these games, except for Ubisoft, you got to strike while the iron is hot. Some people don't want to come back once they once they've had a shitty experience. They're just like fuck that. They throw it out the window. You That's know, me they, right there, Re <laughs> Reggie. You know my stance on that shit. I don't come back. You get yeah, one shot yeah. with me, boy. That's all you one, get. One, you know, that, one, that's what I mean. One, one shot, Tony. Yes, it. They will, they would not screw over the developers like that because 
it would it would be best for the the dirt developers to just move on to dirt six and try yeah. to optimize the game and make sure all your high res assets are in place and stuff but not patching the game like oh we fucked up guys wait wait a year and we're gonna have the headlights fixed no. it's not gonna work out and, and, yeah. then, and then the other the other portion of this is like you know when we talked about this on uh, throw down your questions there's also they also have a uh, you know a uh, you know the other Xbox uh, SKU is kind of a different animal. It runs yeah. in 1080p, and you know it. Run, you know, granted, it supposedly does a lot of the same things, but if you notice, it's not doing a lot of the same things. It's not running a lot of the same supposedly the same way that the other one is. So you're gonna have so you have the dirt guys, and a lot of other companies essentially making multiple SKUs again. Now you have even like in some cases you got people making four different SKU. Well, excuse me. Well, excuse me. The previous Xbox, you know, for the previous Xboxes, one and one one X, you have a PlayStation Four, Pro, and uh, Five, and then not to mention a uh, PlayStation, you know, the Xbox um, a, a Series S and the Series X. What is that? Seven? <laughs> it's a lot. Yeah. Oh, by it's the way, a lot um, of different views. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Reggie, what are you gonna say, bro? Um. I, I was I was listening to Manny. I lost my train of thought. You yeah, know, sorry. Uh, but no, no, you're right sorry. about that. Let's actually, let's break it down. So you have to make because here's what Microsoft says, right? That the developers only need to make one version of the game and it scales up and down. But you still got to optimize for every system. You can't just leave it to right. chance. You know, so it is effectively you're making a game for the one for the one X, right? Well, one S is just the same side of the So one one X Series X. Series S, that's four Xboxes right there. Then on top of that, you got to make them for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, right? That, yeah, seven. And like, we're seeing that. We're seeing yeah. that now. Like with the issues that I, that I came across with the whole Valhalla and the Call of Duty, that here it is, Valhalla's on there, and it says, oh, we're going to patch it. Okay, I'm assuming, like you said, patch to the 5, right? No, it's still 4. You want the 5 version? Go into the PS5 game store, download the PS5, and sure enough, it says download. It doesn't say, oh, you already have it installed. Yeah, PlayStation doesn't no. do scaling. It's just two yeah. versions of the it's game. two versions. Right. And then when I download it, yeah, sure enough, I have the PS4 and PS5 both loaded on my ssd it didn't detect the other one and say oh yeah duh, let's just upgrade that one to five no it's all other build yeah no it's crazy man so it's because it wasn't a smart it wasn't a smart delivery yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, i didn't know smart yeah. delivery really meant smart shit. yeah no it is smart like you buy the game once and it'll know what system you're on but again that's still more development time that go, needs to go into these games you know and it and, and it's it's showing you think about it with playstation you don't gotta make two fucking versions of the game that's it you know, with Xbox, you got to make five. It's crazy. Yeah. You know, so there, there it is, man. Um, what, actually, before uh, we want, so what do we have now? We have Call of Duty, right? Valhalla, Dirt Five, oh and I'm Wait, thinking it's another one. They all run mean, better on cry. play on PlayStation. Devil May Cry Special Edition. Yeah. Watch Dogs, another one. Thank you. Who's that? Brooklyn Bear, my man. Brooklyn Bear. By the way, shout out to him. He's the one that did our, you know, our intro and stuff. Shout out to him. You know. In comparison, I don't know what happened. I haven't seen any comparisons. You to the, go to Digital Foundry, bro. Digital Foundry, man. For Digital Foundry. The they they've, been, they've been posting yeah, videos, bro. Yeah. So Adam, yeah. so, so Adam, okay, Adam, no, so Adam, they did comparisons for Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, um, um, Watch Dogs, and, and Dirt Five, right? So, All so of them run better, better on the PlayStation Five. What is yeah. it that runs better? Is it like everything? The frame the, fr the, fr the smoother frame rate. Xbox. Like the graphically, I think they said it's a little bit better, but in terms of performance, you know, the thing that actually really counts in the end, it's running better on PlayStation consistently. Yeah, and, you know, and it has a, and, the in, in the case, and in the case of yeah. Dirt, oh, sorry, go ahead, Reggie. And yeah, for, go, yeah. In the case of Ahala, it's um, the PlayStation has less tearing, and if it does tear, you don't you don't see it. Whereas even though with the Xbox they have VR and those that have a V a variable refresh rate panel yes it, it will smooth it out but they said even then it doesn't help same thing with double may cry yeah and uh for dirt and for dirt 5 there are literally for the xbox for both versions of the xbox the s and the x there are low resolution models um on the high on the high yeah frame rate yeah yeah adam i don't know yeah you weren't you weren't here on sunday right adam no, he wasn't. Yeah, yo, yo, we were talking about this, bro. So check this out. So Dirt Five isn't isn't just as bad as like frame rates, right? Literally, they have lower polygon counts on the cars for the Xbox right. version. 
It is crazy. So again, and this is why I told Brett. It's funny, Brett and Brian aren't here right now. There's, they were, they were basically going, Tony, you're stupid. Look at the numbers. Xbox games are gonna look better. And I'm like, I don't care about those fucking numbers, bro. Show me the actual results. And there you go. There you go. Right. No, numbers don't yeah. mean shit. Here, here's the analogy I always bring up, right? You can have the fastest car on earth. If you don't know how to drive at high speed, it don't fucking matter how fast that car is, you know? And that's what's going on right now, you know? It, like, right. the, the developers are able to just take, you know, more use of the PlayStation 5 than Xbox for whatever reason, you know? Right. And, you know, and I would say to the number thing, you can't just look at the numbers because there's so much more to a console than just the components that are in it. Right. It there's the 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 dream and then there's actually the reality. And I believe that when Mark Cerny was speaking at the road to PlayStation, he was speaking more in real real world context. You know, whereas, you know, yeah, Microsoft they was they was talking too and a lot of stuff they have is true, but just when you look at it, th- this is what it is. Like, you know, you know, you can you can say what you want, but with my own two eyes, this is what I'm seeing, there's no denying it. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I look at it. Yeah, no, for sure, man. You know, that's how it is. But so we'll see if the, within the next six months or so, if the secret sauce gets unlocked, you know, and these <laughs> games just magically start looking better on Xbox. But this is kind of nuts. But, but we talked about this before on the show. I'm like, don't sleep on that SSD that Sony has, man. That could be its secret. <laughs> you know, and it looks like it yeah. might be because, again, the games are just I running. One. I, want to, I need more. I need this. Well, God damn, I need space. Hey. They join a 12, 12 channel um, <laughs> SSD, man. They join it is it's freaking fast. Well, fast. The, the the secret sauce, this the the double secret sauce is that, and it's and it's a variable, um, you know, compiler chip yeah. too. That's in between in the SSD. Yeah, yeah. which is again, all these motherfuckers would just look. Oh, look at the teraflops. That's more teraflops. It's going to be better. That's it. That's all they were looking at. Like, bro, there's other factors you got to put in here. Right. You know, right. got to take into account. But you know how it is with these right. fanboys, man. All right. Yeah. Um, and then the last thing we're going to do here. Actually, after this story, we're going to do the giveaway, people. So get ready. After this, we're going to do the giveaway. This is more of us just boasting. You know, throw it out. We got to do that sometimes. So we got to boast. Because dude, dudes don't realize, man, that most of the time we have, like, Carlos, you could vouch for this. Our, our track record is pretty good on Throwdown when it comes to our predictions, man. Mm-hmm. You know, we are pretty spot on. So for the longest time, we're talking about years right now, right? We were telling you guys that Xbox's or Microsoft's main goal for Xbox is to turn it into a service. And we specifically said, do not be surprised if one day in the future, I'm not saying the immediate future, but one day in the future, you're going to see a TV with an Xbox app on it. Guess what Microsoft's saying now? They're looking into it. Mm-hmm. There you go. <laughs> you actually saw people. I don't get it. Once they saw that it was on phones and stuff, I thought they would know. That's just the yeah. logical next You want that P- on People were still denying it, man. People were still denying it. People were still denying it. Why? That's it's a service. They wanted it. He openly said it. He said, I want it on everything. Phil said that. I want it on everything. And Adam, and not even that. You know, remember what he said when asked, you know, is your PlayStation your main competition? You know what Phil Spencer said? No, they're not a competition. No. Google Stadia and Amazon are a competition. Exactly. You know? People that are providing those services. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I forgot to show this off real quick. Uh, speaking about uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking um, Amazon, Luna. Luna, there's the Luna controller. Oh, so, Luna. Yeah, review coming up soon. Um, I don't know if you guys want me to do an unboxing for the channel. I mean, there's look at this little box, bro. You know, but who knows? Um, but yeah, um, so that's their main um rivals right now. You know, school, at least the way Microsoft sees it, it's gonna be Microsoft. It's gonna be uh, Stadia and um and Luna, right? So. I'm not surprised with this, but I'm going to extend it even further into the future, people. Don't be surprised if one day in the future, I'm not talking about the five, ten years from now, maybe 15 years, PlayStation app on your TV, too. This is just the way the industry is going. Yeah. You know? well, we saw the PS Now was on a few TVs. Yeah, it's when coming. The yeah, so, there you go. There you go. So it's already happened. It's already happened. You know? Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, that, that's I just had to throw a story in there. Like, Yo, t- throw down was right again, son. Just saying. That's it. Once you go digital, that's what they're going for. Yeah. For all digital future, whether it's just you have a digital copy on your hard drive or it's a digital version streaming. Yeah, I mean, I think it's amazing, you know, that they are looking at that because, you know, in in the event, I mean, I don't think our internet is actually there yet. Not yet, not yet. But once it does get there, you know, because like if they get something like Korea and China, you know, with or Japan with their internet, that's gonna be like a real like 
I wouldn't say the main way to play games, but it'll be a, it'll be an actual viable way, you know, to play games. Like if you're going to a motel or whatever, or you know, whatever like that, and hey, I got this. Uh, you know, you can play, you know, your games or whatever. I, I mean, I think that's awesome. Making them ubiquitous so you can play them everywhere. You know. It's, Hey, look at my man using them twenty dollar words, son. Let's go. <laughs> I, I know what happened because I used that word the other day. Reggie looked that shit up on Google, like, oh shit, I like that word. <laughs> Reggie, I know you know the word, man. I'm giving I'm just giving you shit. <laughs> it's the compression. You know, when we saw when we saw Netflix with their compression technology and they're over here streaming a movie that's 1080p, 5.1, and it's like two to three, maybe four sometimes. But still, four gigs for something like that, usually we're looking at like 10, 20. So that compression technology, if they can get that down packed with the games, then it doesn't really matter. You don't need super high-speed internet. They can just get it to that point. And I know it'll happen because as a, myself, one of these old-school PC guys, I remember Real Player. I remember mm-hmm. using that and seeing oh, these yeah. little box windows and be like, yo, being amazed that I could even see some video. Now look what we got. We can go full-screen streaming, and it's mind-blowing. Yeah. From the jump that we've made, yeah. <laughs> now, I'm not gonna remember that shit. Watching these little ass away. videos and shit being blown away. Yep. The fucking things yeah, like 34 right. pixels long. Like, oh exactly. shit! Look at that. It's a new Star Wars trailer, man. Episode one. Yeah, yeah just the point in gaming. Just remember playing Sewer Shark and seeing <laughs> that's video. right. What the fuck? Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> Double switch, real actors. Are you kidding? Me? This is a future. Future. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's nothing. If you watch this shit now, you're like, this is this looks horrible. I mean, come on now. But it just shows how technology has moved. So I have a feeling we are going to get to that point where all these high quality 4K, all this crazy bells and whistles performance will be at some point streamable and at a good pace that we don't need this ridiculous internet. It all comes down to their compression and on the other end, the the tools that they have, they can uncompress and get that shit working. Yeah, Yeah. no, you're right. And then and then doing it in a speed uh, in a speed that where you can actually control it. I mean, there's part of that is like you know, there's you sending off a signal and then you receiving the signal back. Yeah, so that all that stuff is going to get better, you know. Yeah. Again, we're already seeing it. Look, look at uh, yeah, like you said, Korea and Japan. Look, look to them as the yeah. model, you know. Yeah. When I lived over there, I, I can I can tell you, their internet is just fast. Like it's just it's, now, it's just now crazy is it one fast. company that runs it all? Because I remember hearing something. Uh, they're like, well, it's one company that runs. It's one of those areas, that, and so that way they can put all their money, or the government helps put all their money into it. As here, we're just divided up by all these companies. Everyone has their own plans. Everyone's they're not working together. If they all work together, we probably would have one amazing system. But when I was there, and this was back in, uh, I want to say, two thousand five. Uh, that was my second tour of Korea. Um, for anybody who don't know, I, doesn't know, I am a military vet. So, shout out to you, brother. Thank you for your service. Thank you, no problem. Proud to serve. But uh, what was it? Um, yeah, I believe from what I heard is that, and I could be wrong, but it was saying that the government kind of runs the internet over there, or something like that. Something to that effect. I'm not exactly sure, but I mean, I, I just know it's. It's stupid fast. Like it's just, I mean, and that was in and that was in two thousand five. I can't, I can't even imagine it right now. I hear that the the free the free like uh, there is like a like a um, like a national or you know citywide um free internet, and that's actually faster than than our current normal internet. And yeah. then the ones that you actually pay for is even faster than that. Yes, and the subways yes. they have free internet. Yes, mm-hmm. yes they do. Yes they do. In my in, in my second tour of Korea, I missed out on fucking Red Dead Redemption Two. Yeah, yo man, you could yo man, you could have played <laughs> that. That was more of a vacation. I was in a tour, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yo, he was touring. I was touring. Yeah. <laughs> we we don't do we don't do stolen valor on Throwdown, man. Come on now, <laughs> you know, <laughs> keep it real here, man. All right, man. I mean, um, yo, what's up, bro? He, he could have still played it over there, though. I mean, he got Red Dead Redemption. On- if you could get they could have streamed it. Yeah. Oh, but by the way, there you know what they're promoting heavily in in South Korea right now. What? What's up? Game Pass. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's they have one. Right well, they they have the internet for that. Yeah, they have ah! the infrastructure yeah. for that. Damn, that's, yeah, that's crazy. Not, like here, a bunch of bumble, bumble fucks who have no inter- have like slow ass internet. 
Mm-hmm. Like, yo, man, fix yeah. your shit. Yes, yeah, it's, it's super viable. Mm-hmm. That, that's who I think you'll see the most benefits uh, for Game Pass there, like, especially. Like, there's no problem streaming those games in, especially X Cloud. Yeah. Oh, this is interesting, completely off topic. Adam, you could actually install yep. multiple versions of the same game from different regions on PlayStation. You know how you have like um, Valhalla twice, but you could also have like Valhalla from like Europe or Asia or whatever, you know, in case you want to get mm. different trophies. That's kind of cool. And you can switch, you know how you can switch between also, the two versions? You could do that, you know, um, with the with the different region games too. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. My name is Mayo 2, getting all region versions. <laughs> also, also, region, oh. <laughs> So that means so that means when you want to get those Sangren Kagura games, you you're you're good to go. Yeah, where's where's <laughs> Brian at, man? Brian. That's his shit, you know. Yeah. I yeah. love it. it's a great game. It's a great game, it is. <laughs> yeah. All right, Ben, and now we're gonna transition to okay, so we had our hands on first impressions of the oh, PS5. Oh, 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 what we're doing. Oh, I almost forgot, I almost forgot. Carlos, thank you. I almost forgot. We got a I game do. to give away, man. This is why see Carlos, he, he's like the he's like the ultra backup, man. If I forget something, he lets me know. All right, next year, November, next, the, the, the final game of that we're giving away this month. Uh, we already had three winners. Congrats to all you guys. Um, I don't know what you guys picked as your game because it, we're really giving away $60 cards. And by the way, apologies that there are no $70 cards in existence for us to give to you. It's just the way it is, man. But yeah. now let's get it, boy. All right. So. It still sucks that they don't let you just gift game codes. That's yeah. the dumb just mm-hmm. the- yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So now we're gonna give a, a game away. Um, apologies for the the lag here, but whatever. But uh, hit it. Oh man, because because is that we got that fire in in it. All right. Yeah. Right. Spin. Yes. Spin. <laughs> Things gonna move in like two two frames a second. That shit gonna run worse than the Xbox Series yeah. X. Though. Manny, I guess you'll have to tell us the name because this shit ain't even popping up right now. I can see. Oh, 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 the name. Hold on. It's about to materialize. Eight of my. Like hearts. Uh, do that's a name I do not recognize. Spade of Spade of my hearts. Let's see. What, do we see them in there? Are you Are you in the Are you in the room currently? Yeah. Spade of my heart, Mister Spade. <laughs> Mister Spade. Uh, they could be going under a different name. Um, but yeah, Spade of Hearts. Uh, we you know, we will reach out to you. Um, and remember, right. Manny, what's the rule with this man? Man, we got that twenty-four hour rule. You don't do it. We re-roll. We roll, you know. Actually, Manny, you know what? Give them forty-eight hours because we got holidays. We're gonna give you forty. No, okay, hours. okay, we'll give them four. We'll give you forty-eight hours. Yeah, forty-eight holiday. hours is because of holiday and because we're also doing the show a day early. You know, mm-hmm. just just to be fair, um, start the clock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, spade to you. Um, you know, can't even read that shit now. Um, spade of my hearts. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> you better pick your fucking game. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Yes. Your game, man. is free, motherfucker. All right, man. Now we're gonna do All it. All right. PlayStation Five, man. Let's go. Okay. So we did our hands-on impersonate oh, imperson- impressions of it. <laughs> um, you know, imagine doing a pr- impersonation of a PlayStation Five. I am a PlayStation Five. Look at me. I am big yeah. and white. Yeah, boo, yeah, boo. If I fall, I will kill you. Um. So yeah. <laughs> um. For you know, we we did our um first impressions, right? little we did a little bit like a week afterwards but now we've had this joint for two weeks full review and carlos has his shit so now we're really right. ready you know two weeks. Yeah. so now we're gonna put we're gonna put the place in five right there with the bivaporu you know because we got to and um reggie since you're the guest brother why don't you start us off man what what are your thoughts about the playstation five bruh well for one thing uh you know, seeing it on that that reveal that Sony did and seeing it in person, it is big. I mean, that's the running joke. Look at it, it doesn't even fit in the whole picture for Carlos, man. Like, it doesn't yeah. fit in the frame, bruh. Yeah. Oh, you got the pulse, you motherfucker, oh, man. My in my face, in my face. Look at that shit, man. He's flexing. He's flexing. He's flexing, man. That that's it. Be my poru. You already know. <laughs> yeah, and I got this shit. I want those headsets, too. I want those headsets for whatever reason I want. Yeah, them. anyway, go ahead, man. But um, seeing it in person and having it and just it's it's like very striking um, in a way. And then, you know, just getting into the experience of it all. it I mean, it just I don't know, man. It's like kind of magical in a way when you turn this thing on and the way they have to the set up, how it's easy for you to get into just a lot of quality, quality of life measures that they took 
for you to get into the experience. And then once you're actually playing it, it was just, I don't know, it, to me, it it's transformative. Like, I, you know, I'm, me and my daughter, we, we platinum Astrobot, which is the first game she platinum. Um, nice. She's 11. And she clock, has clocked in more time, more time than me on the PlayStation 5. You know, period. Like, she loves this. She, she loves it, man. She loves it. And I don't know. I, I've never seen it. I, I tell you what, it's kind of like um, this. The whole experience is almost kind of like, remember when uh, you got the Super Nintendo and Super Mario World came out? Yeah. It's that feeling, right? It's kind of mm, like. Yeah. I mean, that, that's just to me, right? It's kind of like, it's kind of like that. But I guess, you know, with, with kids, you know, you see it from another angle and just how. They interact with stuff, um, but for me personally, you know, you know, I mean, it's. I think it's very, it's very transformative experience. It's very uh, smooth, uh, you know, my give or take, you know, the little hiccups here and there, which I only had maybe like maybe like two, but that was about it. Um, yeah, I, I really, I really love the console, man. It's everything that they said it was. It's doing everything that they said it was going to do. Um, you know, I, I almost kind of think Sony kind of undersold the console, really, in a way. And, you know, just let the discovery be up to the actual user, you know. Um, playing with the dual, the dual sense, you know, at first we all thought, you know, this was a gimmick, but it really brings the games to life um, in a way that, I mean, personally, I haven't experienced before, you know, just, I don't know, like, right now, I think that yeah, the game that me and my daughter are playing is um, the Sackboy. Um, Sackboy is a big adventure. And if you thought that the, that the controls felt good on Astrobot, I would tell you or implore you to play Sackboy's Big Adventure. It is freaking awesome. The way that this controller feels and brings those characters to life, I've never experienced anything like that before, ever. You know, I... I, I, I don't know what to say, man. I mean, and playing Demon Souls, oh my God, like, whoo, Jesus Christ, man. It, it literally feels like you're there. 3D sound, along with the dual sense, it just really brings you into the game. Like, I, I don't know. Like, it, it's, it's unlike anything I've experienced before, man. It, it's awesome. It's awesome. That's what's up. I love it. And Carlos, now you finally have it. Finally, finally have it, Oh. How have you been liking to play in five, man? Man, this thing sucks. Oh, Reggie. I'm, <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm, I'm joking. Um, yeah, I mean, I had to wait longer than a lot of other people on Throwdown for, to get this. Um, so, you know, it took me a while. But once I got it, I'm like, I was so happy because, you know, this – when I got the Series X, I was pleasantly uh, – surprised because i got it early um and i was really happy but like i mentioned before the you know playing a series x is kind of like playing an xbox one x and i have an xbox one x and it's pretty much the same thing if you have the update for the ui it's 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 all uniform per se with the ps5 everything is different you know yes. there's it's not only is the hardware different the console is like huge the the UI is different. You know, the party chat is different. Everything is just, you're like, you're, you're opening a, a video game console and your experience, like Reggie was talking about, you know, his past experiences, it's like everything is new. So you're, you're finding new things and there's like sort of excitement by learning and, and, and reacting to new things, especially on, you know, the, some of the stuff that we love and that's video games. Um, yeah. I, I will admit I'm not the biggest fan of the UI. It's kind of clunky. Um, the cards are pretty cool. Um, uh, the the PSN store is pretty awesome. I I like that it's integrated. That it's way yeah, better sure. than what Microsoft it's does. It's you know I like the way the 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 store also has the different versions of the video games in one you know place. Like if you're looking for Spider Man. It doesn't matter what version you're you're looking for. Just look for Spider Man Miles Morales. Once you click on that, it'll you have an option on a drop down right. box to see: Do you want the Ultimate Edition? Do you want the Standard Edition? 
like that that's pretty awesome um the the like loading amazon. speeds are pretty it's like yeah it's like amazon actually yeah, yeah pretty similar um but you know there, there's a couple of things that are, aren't as intuitive as far as the uh the ui you know whenever you're going into trying to you know turn off the system you have to like go through you press the ps button you have to scroll down then you have to scroll all the way over the, the right the long press yeah there's no there's no long presses that's just dedicated to going to home um well not not ps not psn home but the the home screen um so yeah it's it's the ui i think is my biggest knock on on the system but as far as the games i've been playing miles morales and man that game looks amazing you know Yo, man, man, fidelity it, mode man what's up Yo, man it, it's it's one of those and we know and the crazy thing is we know that game is is a ps4 game yes it is yeah it's a ps4 game that got minimal uh you know things that added for the ps5 experience and it still does a lot you know the ray tracing the <laughs> the dual sense features um the 3d audio i've been playing i've been i played earlier miles morales on my pulse 3d headsets that i just got from uh, from sony and it sounds amazing it sounds so clear you know the like tony was telling me before you know the 3d audio is no joke and it's not it's really good um yeah, so I've been playing Miles Morales. I played a little bit of Demon Souls, and that looks pretty good too. Um, I still need to, you know, I still need to beat that first boss so I can play with with everyone else in in the group. Yo, Carlos, uh, by the way, if you want easy mode, play with Chris. Oh, you know, I know that. <laughs> and Chris just that. left. What the fuck? Um, oh, Chris, Chris is like, oh, he's like, I ain't, I ain't easy mode. Yeah. <laughs> no, he touted himself as that. He's like, I'm easy mode. You know. <laughs> No, or actually, I just beat the game, so I'm easy mode too, Carlos. You need some help, bro? I got you, man. <laughs> man. Your boy, your boy. Go, go man, ahead, Reggie, real quick. Um, so two things, I, two points I would like to make that um that Carlos touched on. So mm-hmm. personally, um, you know, with the UI, I love the UI. It's very clean. I can understand some people complaints about it. I think you know once you get used to it, and especially using that card system. That that car system is, is is almost highly underrated, but when you use it, oh my god! Like like when you hit resume on something, it literally just like that drops you right back into the game, right where you were. D- depending on depending on the makeup of the game. Um, oh yeah, boy, because it does not work like that for all of them. Right, right yeah. I, I want to preface that it doesn't work like that for all of them. For the most part, you know, like let's say you're playing Spider Man Miles Morales in. You win some part of the city, right? And you went off to do something else. You cut the system off. You come back to it, cut it off. And you go to that card and you hit the square button to resume. And there you are, like in a matter in a matter of mere seconds. You can't even blink your eyes fast enough. You might get one. You might get one or two blinks in, but you're there. <laughs> <laughs> and and I mean, uh, what was the other thing? Yeah, playing Spider Man. Listen. My man's got to readjust himself right now, son. Um, the thing is, the thing is, you know, it's it's kind of one of those things where yes, the game is on. The, you this game is on PlayStation Four. Mm-hmm. Some some people may or may not consider it a next gen title, but if you play it on PlayStation Four and you play this game on PlayStation Five, one after I'm almost willing to guarantee you after about ten minutes of playing this game. You would not want to go back and play it on the PlayStation Four. There, there is no, there is no way. You, you can't even convince me. Especially, yes, they got the sixty frames mode. I beat the game twice in um, fidelity mode because that ray tracing. Oh, yo, yeah. <laughs> Look at yeah, Reggie. Right? <laughs> it, it hey, that's it. My day, the de old son. It, oh it, adds, it adds another dimension to the to the game. Yo, it's fidelity like, yeah, mode, bro. It's, 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 the sounds you hear, along with the ray tracing and the dual. Man, oh shit! Sure. No, he good. He good. Know, yeah, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like you looking around and <laughs> you, you can listen to it. You can listen to it on your TV if you want. Fine, but when you put those headphones on, it's mm-hmm. a it's a whole nother world. But that's the thing. These are the experiences that people are now kind of be talking about. I believe. That this is going to be an ongoing conversation because, like, yeah, I got the game on PlayStation Four, but playing on PlayStation Five, man, it's a different experience. 
You so you can have these games, but the experience is just going to be so much so much more heightened on the PlayStation Five. It, I mean, it's it's crazy. Like playing Sackboy, yeah. Um, you can play it, you know, however you want. But when you get this thing on the PlayStation Five, you can't even get my daughter off the six, man. We play it co-op, we play it together, and she she loved this. She loved this thing, man. And Astrobot, when you feel feel that controller and all the things, this is not. Yes, it's a demo. Demonstration for the dual sense, but it's more. I mean, it's more. A, than a demo don't got a platinum trophy. Yeah, you know, <laughs> trophy, but not even Miles Morales has a platinum trophy. Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. It does. Okay. I got. Yeah, I got yeah. the platinum. That, that was my second okay, platinum. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I got. I got the platinum. In. I got the platinum. Oh, okay. Miles hey, look at Reggie. I got the platinum. Son. I got the platinum. Okay. I was yo. I, I, as soon as I beat the game, I jumped right back into. Boom. Using them cards, right? To do them challenges, man. Yeah, I did all the challenges. I cleared everything. Oh, all right. Can, can I tell you? Yeah. Can I tell you? Yeah, go ahead, Adam. What, what, tell us your oh, experience. Adam's been having, right, let's, let's Adam's been having a different experience with the PlayStation. So I, I also have two kids, and my daughter's nine, and I showed her it, and she was like, man, let's just load up Tony Hawk. Never. That was it. And she likes Tony Hawk, and so we just played Tony Hawk. Wasn't too impressed. The interface, yes, it feels new compared to Xbox, because even the Xbox is just Xbox. It's the same damn interface. But it's not as intuitive as it was before. For example, if I go to do a, a a share play with my brother, we used to do it all the time. He's on PS4 though. It says, "Oh, you can't do it." Okay, fine. Now, can he do it with me? I was like, "No, you can't do it that way." But you're giving me the option, and it's saying I start share play, but he's not receiving a message. So it's little things like that is broken. Or when I go and I boot up my system and I have Call of Duty, a Cold War PS5, Valhalla PS5, and they're both reverted to the PS4 version. Meanwhile, I don't have the PS4 versions installed for either one. Mm -hmm. Or if I, when I had that issue with the Valhalla and then I go to the PS5 store and it says, oh, download it. I'm like, okay, and I download it. And now I have two versions of the game. It didn't even upgrade the one I had. You know, it's a lot of these little things. I'm like, okay, I, it's gonna, they're going to fix it. I just hate that it it just launched that way and that i have to wait for a fix for these things that really bothered me or if let's say we're doing a group chat right now i took a little learning right because we have to create yeah. a different part chat and get people in i can't i don't want to always have to do that for a group if i just want to have two people and i don't want to have to go and create a whole new group. i just want to be like yo i want to add my other buddy um no nah, you can't do that you gotta do it this way it, things that were broke. And that was an issue that Microsoft had with the 360, with the Xbox One, when they messed up the party chat on that shit and all the stuff. Things that weren't broke, you still fucked with. And there was no reason for it. Uh, I don't like the, the trophy system with all the cards. At least give me an option to put it back in list form because it's the big clunky cards and they don't even show you all the info. So it's like, man, but, and the one you were talking about the activating the cards. Some games do work. Call of Duty crashed yeah. every time. Every card it showed me, I clicked a crash. I went to play mm -hmm. zombie modes with Rich from over there with Coalition. We're like, yeah, because I have to do a review. I'm like, yeah, let's play zombie mode. Crashed every time I tried to boot that damn thing up. Once I typed in Call of Duty zombie mode and Google, crash, crash, crash. Everybody's talking about this shit. I'm like, fuck. I was like, what? You know, I like it. It's fast. I, I loaded some of my PS4 games on it so I can just experience the speed because Tony Hawk had a load issue. On uh, the PS4, there's no loading at all. Love it. You know, uh, Borderlands 5, that had its own version. That was great. Uh, but I'm seeing myself play more of my PS4 games on it as opposed to the PS5 stuff. And I know eventually the things are going to come. But it's just all the other little things that they just need to work out. Uh, one of the, the best features that I like is something that they didn't have in PS4, but the Xbox had forever. And it's with Spotify. It's with the music. When you link up your music and you go to play a game, it will then automatically mute the in-game music so you can continue hearing your music. I love that because it was annoying that every time I would listen to my music, my playlist, I would have to go into game, go into settings, and mute or lower the volume for in-game audio for every single time. You know, at least that. That To me, that's one of the big pluses. I love the fact that I can just do that with a click of a button. You know, um, I had some other little issues, but... I'm just hoping that all these things get resolved. So that's the thing. Like, was I wild by it? No, I wasn't wild by it. Uh, have it been wild by these games? Yeah, they look good. But again, I, I haven't seen, and I guess, I don't know, we're old. And, I, and a lot of us are old. And we've <laughs> seen big jumps. They jump from an 8-bit 
to 16-bit to 32-bit. These are big jumps. This jump from PS4 to PS5 series, Zach, Zach, so all that, whatever, because if you have a good performance PC with a great video card, you've already seen this shit. You know what I mean? This is all not new. Go to the NVIDIA experience and bump it up to high, and there you go. We've seen it. I'm just glad that it's on the console, and my console right. no longer sounds like it's going to take off. <laughs> I don't even care that it's that big. Whatever. I mean, yeah, it's dookie size, but it's, it is what it is. It's like my tower that's on the other side. I, I got two. I got one that's skinny what's and one that's fat. Well, to your point, Adam, what we're seeing in action is Moore's Law, right? Where... I mean, graphically, we are going to, you know, get the point. <laughs> it's funny you bring it up. We literally just talked about Moore's Law in the last episode, you know? So, yeah, yeah we don't need to go into those places. But, yeah, you're getting more diminishing returns just as processors right. and all that, you know? Um, so, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's, all about, it's all about the 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 experiences that would extend beyond that. So, something like the DualSense 3 audio, just different stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. that's what I love. The DualSense, I love the DualSense, especially Call of Duty and sort of like what you were talking about with the Sackboy and all them, you do feel it and that's what you feel in Call of Duty. All those guns, yeah. mm, that was great. Don't use it in multiplayer, you'll get owned. But yeah. for the games itself, it's awesome. I love it, the 3D audio. Hell, even when we were doing that share play recently, um, Tony. When we yeah, that shit was dope, Duty, right? Hear him talking, and I kept taking on my ass. Like somebody walked into the room. With me. <laughs> I, it was like, hey, like, hey, Adam, right? I'm right in your ear, bro. How you doing, man? You hear me playing this Demon Souls, baby? Because I heard her in the game, but then I didn't see her yet. But I took my headphones on because I thought my daughter, and my wife came in. So I'm like, what the hell is it? Because it's like it sounded like it was all the way in the back. You yeah, know? yeah. Until you got closer to her. But, like, yeah, the girl shit. in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, I was like, shit, this 3D audio is on point. So I definitely love the controller. The controller, man, it'll put a smile on your face. It's like yeah. I said, it's not a gimmick. The shit is legit. This is real right yeah, now, people. I, Dual I sense. I'm looking forward to getting some other cool ones with cool designs. I'm sure they're gonna go that route. That's yeah. that's hype. But man, yeah, that, that was it for me. It was playing play a lot of shooters, and the shooting experience is there. You feel it. Borderlands so Three is another one. You know, you feel yeah, that shit. So. Playing it, all the picking up, all the weapons, the different. It just. You, it, it just it just brings a new element to uh, immersion in it because all the time we always say, oh, well, I got this built. It feels like this, feel like that. Well, no, now it really does because even when you put on yeah. a certain gear or something, you, it, the the way it'll do the rumble and then the resistance, it feels like the controller is adding weight. Yes, you know, I mean, it's like, yo, how is this? This is some voodoo they're doing. Like, what is this? <laughs> like why is my controller getting heavier? It reminds me of when I used to have those weights that you 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 change up with the sands and stuff, and I was like, you make some turns and actually, you know, it's super heavy. Like, what the hell? It felt like that. I'm like, I can't believe they pulled this off. Yeah, because yeah, we've seen a lot of gimmicks in controllers. We've seen it all. And this one is not a gimmick. This one actually works, even with the mic. The mic ten times better than the mic that was on the, oh, yeah. the, the PS3 that just sounds really annoying and then loud. This actually works. You could use it. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, by the way, I should just add the controller does not add weight. It just makes it feel like it because of the rumbles. Just yeah, to yeah, get that. Because yeah, yeah. you know, some motherfuckers are coming here. You guys said it makes a weight. No, 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 no. no the no, weight doesn't change, but it you kind of feel like it does. You know feel, what I'm saying? You're gonna feel the cold on that. On that yeah, now that you, we know you can't do that either. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah. here's here's a, here's here's one thing that I wanted to ask them. Um, so before back in the day, um, I used to have uh, you know um. Uh, surround sound headphones for my PlayStation 3. And yes. one of the reasons why I ended, ended up not using it on the 4 is because it, it didn't have the optical port. Hey, sometimes I watch movies on it. And all that. Have any of you watched any any uh, movies or anything like that that have, uh, you know, um, surround sound using the he the controller headset? Yeah, mm. that's a good idea. Yeah. That's a good question. That. I'm going to try that. I'm going to watch Mandalorian with that shit, I see what happens. I watched Mandalorian. Mandalorian is in 5.1. And mm -hmm. I have Headset. And yeah, I could hear like when the speed bikes, I would hear it go from the left to the right, and I would hear a lot of that circling around. And the first day, mm -hmm. bullet Doo -doo. Would flying to the right, you would hear. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So yeah, you hear it. It does transfer over. It That's dope. Yeah. Yo, Tony. So what's that, up? yeah, what's up, so Carlos? Wondering... Whoa, 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 Carlos? What's up, man? You, you imagine watching watching it with a headset, watching Planet Earth. Oh my TV! Oh my TV! Excuse me, Maddie. What are you gonna say? <laughs> was Was Planet Earth in uh, in um 
in a 5.1 sound? No, no, uh, no. Uh, now Pine Earth, our, our, our planet our, is called. Our, our planet. planet. Our planet. Our planet. Yo, okay. I sold like five TVs alone showing screenshots off of that shit. I showed this fucking gorilla and shit. Motherfucker's like, I'm buying that TV. Like, that gorilla looks like it's in your room, Tony. I'm like, how do you know it wasn't, man? That's a real gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> yo, man, yo, man, that game journalist tip out got me a gorilla. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm a game journalist. I'm balling, man. I got gorillas all over the place, man. Let's go, you know? <laughs> I, I went to see the C10 in, I went to see the C10 in person that, um, last week, the TV that you have, Tony. Yeah, Reggie came oh. over, man. He came over to the crib. He didn't even say nothing and shit. He showed up. I made him some arroz con pollo and shit. We were chilling. <laughs> you know, oh, had yeah. some henny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Last week, though, I did see it last week, man. Oh my god, it is it is a pretty it is a pretty nice TV, and I am planning I am planning to get it. I just See, that's wait. right, yo. When you get that, I don't give a fuck when you when you get it. Post a picture and tag me, son. I'm trying to prove a point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> LG, oh, you know. Trump, we're trying to get that sponsorship going. Yeah, right? Shit. <laughs> Reggie, Reggie's yelling at me. He's like, Tony, get us fucking Amazon affiliate link, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, as much as you were now, and all those people that went after you showed it and they went and bought it, yeah, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, B. Telling you, yeah, no, I think you're right. No, it's funny because Reggie was like, Yo, Tony, I'm pretty sure you sold like three of you, but I didn't sell three of you, I sold like 20 of those fucking TVs, you know. And shit was crazy. And again, I wasn't even that wasn't my plan. I was just like, This TV's fucking crazy. I'm posting pictures and shit. And motherfuckers like, Tony, you motherfucker, they didn't post their pictures of their shit, you know. Oh man, yeah. but yeah, as, as, as I see other things, like, you know, I'm you don't need a, a like a new 4K TV to experience PlayStation 5, but if you do got it, oh my god. Ooh. Other level, man. I'm jumping in right now, man. I'm giving my fucking take right now, man. Well, just jumping off what Adam said. Yes, the dual sense. This shit right here. This shit right here. This shit right here. Yo, yeah, this is next. I'm saying this is next gen. This yeah. is next gen. The games maybe that on not all that next gen because, like Adam said, we've had ray tracing for a little while and shit. We've had you know crazy 4K graphics for a while. We haven't had this motherfucker ever. <laughs> you know no. this dual sense. Check and being real right now. I'm keeping it real. When I heard that, sa- not in sack, where Astros was going to be a pack in game, I'm like, I'm not playing that fucking shit. You know, I'll be like, that's a waste of my time. Then I saw Digital Foundry's reviews. I'm like, hold on, what? What, really? Like, they were talking about, like, you know, the Rumbles does this. Like, you can actually feel, like, when you're walking on sand, it feels like sand. You can walk on water. You feel like you're walking on water. I'm like, whoa, hold on. You play, yes. okay. They, they did their best to describe it, but even then, they couldn't do justice to the shit you experienced in that fucking game. You know, like you're going through the ice and shit. But and here's what it was cool because I lo- I'm one of those guys I get more impressed by things when I know how it works, right? Because I was like, okay, how do they make you feel like you're sliding on ice, or how do they make you feel like you're swimming? It's a combination of the rumbles and the sounds that come out of the speaker, right? It, it's it's yeah. both working in tandem, so it gives you that experience. Like, I remember when I was just, you know, sliding through ice, and it felt like my blades were, like, actually slicing into it, and I'm like, this is fucking crazy right now, you know? Like, when you when you skate on it, like, you can yeah. feel it. Yeah, you can feel it. And then, and, and yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah. go ahead. Yeah. When they say these games are for PS5, I, that's really what it is. It's like you, they're really adding not just all the bells and the whistles with the color stuff. It's adding that support for that that uh, the haptic feedback controller. Because I played Borderlands and Valhalla on PS4 before I switched over, and I'm like, okay, yeah, it looked great and everything. But man, when you pick up those swords, I picked up an axe Valhalla, and I went to pick up, and he's like, I was like, oh, and I felt the like, yeah, you felt that shit. Like, damn, it almost fell over. <laughs> So wobbling with this, I'm like, shit. It was like a, a different feel to the point that every time I would kill somebody and he drops, I'm like, yeah, I want to feel the show. Hold on, you know, I'm going, you know. <laughs> Yeah, no, and I'm, I'm glad you said that. I'm like the speaker. We have to give the speaker props, man, because it's half the experience with the oh, controller, yeah. you know. Yeah, but yeah. but I remember with um when Astros, what, what fucked me up was like they're doing the tutorials, like all right, press the the left trigger and shit to do something in action. So I'm pressing the left trigger, nothing is happening, right? I'm like, because I'm pressing it with the same amount of force I would normally press, right? Pressing, pressing, nothing happening. Then I squeezed it, and something happened. Like, oh shit! Like like it's yeah. nuts, you know. And then there, there's like a, a part later. Um, where you have to shoot like a bow and arrow, you feel the resistance when oh, you're yeah, pulling, yeah, yeah. knocking yeah. that shit back, you know? Attention. Yeah, yo, bro, I'm telling you, there's so many little instances like that. And then with Demon yeah. Souls, this this goes back into the uh, the 3D audio, right? And Chris was the one that pointed, it's like, yo, you could hear these motherfuckers breathing on the other side of the wall. So it yes. gives you extra, like, because that, that game, you got to be, it's spatial awareness is key in that game. You need to know all your surroundings. So having the, in the headset, here's the thing, 
it works with any headset. It doesn't matter what the headset yeah. is. It works, you know. Yeah. So you don't need to have the Sony, the Sony no, he- the headphones pulse. in order to do it. Work the, control, the controller is pulling the magic. Yeah, yeah. So did you bro. did you um speaking of the headset, did you guys adjust the um the ear settings on it or did you just put I it mean, on? I just put it on. I just put the shit on. I did. Oh, oh, Reggie, yeah, tell, us about, tell us about it then, man. In the main, in yeah. one of the menus, that if if the three D audio is not working, remember ah, when okay. Mark Journey said that the, yes. you know do something about molding to your ear. Yeah, we can mold well, it apparently, to your ears. apparently they figured out um, what three settings seem to work for multiple ear types. So you have at least three settings to like if you're not hearing it correctly, you can switch it through there and listen to it and hear hear what works best mm. for you. Inter- okay, cause I, I'll try it out, but you know what I use. It was fine. By the way, Paku Han says he tried it. Uh, Reggie, you tried it. What, did you see any differences with the hearing and all that? Yeah. So um, I think because um, when I first got the PlayStation, I, you know, I'm, I'm you know just plugging in, plugging my headset in, or whatever, right? And I noticed that when I went later, on, I think this was like probably like the next day, um, I went into those settings and I was changing them, seeing what works, right? And I noticed that if I went to one setting, I could hear like. A little bit i can't really explain it it's like um a little bit more detail in the sound if yeah. that makes sense yeah it does yeah yeah. Then, it's a richer sound yeah one, right then other ones they will be kind of subtle right like i couldn't hear what i heard before yeah so i just kept playing with them right and then once i got to one that i like I, i'm gonna try this one i forgot we said and i picked and the game i think i was playing on uh, miles and rattles at the time and the game just came came even more alive after I picked that, and I just left it there ever since. Same thing with Demon Soul, right? It, with all of them, it just, I don't know, it, it's, it, it, it just works. Like, it, it's awesome. Oh, and so a quick aside about the thing we was talking about. Yeah. So in Astrobot, there's a level at the end. I don't want to spoil it for anybody. It's the coolest freaking level I've ever seen in any, right? Uh, but there's this one side where the, the stage would tilt, and it would really feel like the controller is tilting with the with the stage, even though you have the controller in your hand. Like it just get feels like it's, it's weighted. There's no weights in it, but it's hard to explain. It just like if it goes to this yeah. side, you you it feels like it's on that side, and you feel the struggle of trying to jump up to the thing you're trying to hit. Yeah, because the thing is, it's not just straight up it. like vibration or rumble like before. It's very different variant levels of it. The, the shaking, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that's why it creates that effect. Again, they do such a great job, you know. Uh, it, it's like you could tell they put a lot of research into that shit and it's amazing i don't even think the yeah. controller costs that much more than a regular controller on xbox on amazon it's like 70 dollars. not that bad for this it's controller, ten dollars more than a, than a, than a yeah, ps5 that's what i'm saying it's not that much yeah. more so like because you you figured they, they'd sell this shit if this controller came out like two years ago they would be selling this shit for a hundred dollars you know oh, yeah no doubt yeah so it's crazy yeah. man so yeah the dual sense that that's the thing that blew me away and then of course you know the actual games I, I gotta eat a little bit of crow, people. Man, gotta, the crow, you, you know, man, you the crow. Gotta eat some motherfucking crow. But of course, you know how I always eat my crow with some motherfucking adobo. You know, that's how we do yes, it sir. around here, man. Fried up and everything. You know, my my crow Amazon. tastes good. Dominican, <laughs> Domin- yeah, adobo. You already know some sazon and shit. Real, that's it. it, man. So yeah, okay. So I was just being real right now i was ragging on the playstation launch lineup for a while I'm like yeah this shit's kind of whack whatever you know and it was mostly based off of the fact that a lot of the games also on playstation 4 right but even if you just take the playstation 5 games right like dude you got demon souls alone is like a system seller i'm saying it you know like this shit is crazy yeah. right now you know then you got astros which is like a great showcase for the controller you got the sack boy game you know and even though it's it is on playstation 4 miles morales like when you got that ray tracing on oh man i'm telling you right now so i'm like this is legit better than the shit i played on playstation 4 without a doubt without a doubt you know, and then of course you add in the multiplayer. Well, you, you got you got you got Call of Duty yeah. and Valhalla and shit. I'm like, okay, this launch lineup is better than the PS4. That it, P, better than PS3 even. You know, it's like this is oh, solid. Really? You know. Well, so. well, if you if you want to get a taste of what it sort of looks like on PS4, you just turn it on uh, the fidelity. The that's the, right. Yeah, the frame rate mode. Yeah. The frame rate it mode just but, turns off yeah. all the stuff. Yeah, but even yeah. then, even but then, but then the frame rate ain't like that on PS4 though. Yeah, you know? those frame, the frame rates. Are not Actually, bad. man, you know how I could get a taste of it? Just download the PS4 game. <laughs> That's how. You play the four game. 
I mean, here's the thing. I'm gonna say this as a person who's seen the the seen the seen the other one, and you, you know, are the, currently the, playing the four version. And I'm currently playing the four one. It's. I mean, t- I feel like people forgot that Spider Man, the Spider Man PS4 game Look looks good. fucking good. Yes. It looks good. It looked amazing. It's like, it's like they buy my bird memory because. I mean, come on, you look at the other one with the exception of the ray tracing and then some of the additional flourishes on the game, the games look pretty close. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right about that, you know, but right. that ray tracing though, man. Like, you know yeah. what's cool? And because I'm playing um the the first Spider-Man 2018, I love this, this little thing. So I'm fighting a, a bad guy or whatever. And just off to the side, I see my reflection beating the shit out of this too. And I'm like, that's yes. cool. <laughs> you know, that, that I like those little touches, you know, or I'm going up to a door. It's like, oh, look, I'm staring at myself right now. And again, understanding how reflections used to be done in video games it used to be a very controlled thing they would actually have to take the character model and flip it over or whatever reverse it, it used to be attached yeah. now it just happens you know yeah exactly. so like it's there's like there's a few different ways like for spider-man for the spider-man p uh, the ps4 version of spider-man they use a ray trace uh not a ray trace uh a screen space solution so right. you do get screen space reflections in spider-man the ps4 version of spider-man you know, like puddles and sometimes inside of the thing, but not nowhere near in the level that you're going to get for the five. Yeah, for sure. You know, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it for my. Play. Oh yeah, the UI real quick. I, I'm still getting used to. It. I don't hate it. I don't love it either. I'm getting used to it. Like the more I play with it, like okay, I know where things are right now or whatever. That's kind of cool. Uh, the party system was really cool. I like how we just have a dedicated throwdown room. And we just jump in and out. Like again, I was um, me and Chris were doing our thing. We're playing. Riku jumps in randomly. Adam shows up. It's like it's cool how that happens. And then of course they could <laughs> watch our shit. What's up, Manny? I was gonna say R- Riku's if Riku's in the group. He can't he can't jump in randomly. <laughs> yeah, or, or just out of, out of nowhere. Let's just say that you know, I, I really when they bring themes because they could do it. Yeah, I get it. every time you go to a game, you see the whole. Yeah, because they already kind of have themes already, you know. But Adam, yeah. you just gave me an idea. Have have it so you could switch those themes out. You know that yeah. that would be cool. Yeah. Like for your I don't own want to hear that music forever. That same thing. I, I had to do that shit on the Vita where I couldn't fucking change it. Yeah, you know. And then you know certain things had it. So Vita baby. Oh. <laughs> All right, uh, mm-hmm. Chris, man, share your thoughts on the PlayStation Five experience after two weeks. Um, two weeks. Hmm. I, I got it. I, I'll give it up that the the SSD does seem to be performing very well. Yes, Mark the, Cerny the 3- didn't lie, man. Yeah, I agree that, that with the three D audio thing, and and I did tell you like there's um. All right, there's a part in Demon Souls is not a spoiler. In, uh, yes, the game's in fucking one, 11 years old, man. Go ahead. Yeah, in 1 2, there's a, a long bridge that you run towards the Tower Knight, and there's a red dragon that strafes the bridge with fire. And what you have to do is, like, wait till he, <laughs> he shoots the bridge with fire, and you, you, run, you run as fast as you can to get to the, the next um, kind of uh, archway yeah. so you can mm-hmm. hide. All right, so an old game, you had to look at him and like wait and then time it. So when he, as soon as he hits the ground, you take off. Well, now I just hear him breathing and flapping his wings, and I know when he's over me, which is crazy. I'm like, oh shit, he's right over my head, and I start running. I can time it so that as soon as that fire hits the ground, I'm running, just by listening. You know, you couldn't do that before. Yeah. So I thought that was nuts. And then yeah, I can hear guys if I go around the corner. It's like oh, I hear a guy breathing over there. So I just run around the corner and smack him, you know? I know he's hiding. <laughs> Again, these are things you couldn't do before. So that experience is good. The the feedback on the dual sense is good. Even Demon Souls, you can when you pull a bow, yes. it, it tightens. So you feel it. Yes. Um the controller feels good in my hand. I, I disagree with Brett. I have huge hands too. I don't have a problem holding it for a long time. Yeah, no, me neither do I. Very comfortable. <laughs> I, yeah. I think the only issue when it comes to holding, I do get like a little scrape on my bottom palm here. Like I, uh, let me hold it. I don't know. This, like right, right here, this edge. I don't know why. I, I keep moving my hand. I don't know. Maybe my as I'm playing, my hand is sliding down. I don't know. Maybe it's just a little sharp plastic. Yeah. So my only, my only complaint with it is, uh, is the UI is a little confusing. So I, I agree with Carlos. Like. I do. There's things I do like. I do like our dedicated room. I do like uh, the speed which the switcher works and stuff like that. Like there's good things. There's bad things. Yeah. I, I think there's still stability issues. I don't know what the patches have been lately. 
but they haven't fixed the main thing, which I think the accessories being left in, crashing the games is still a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a hard time getting around certain uh, things that used to be very easy on PS4. Like if I wanted to adjust my cloud saves to PS Plus, it was just a matter of hitting the game, going to upload, download, save, whatever. Now I have to go into settings and drill down and find it. Yeah, It's a pain in the ass. Uh, you know, some of the options in the voice chat is a pain, so I just go to the phone to look when, like, Tony posts a picture in the chat. It, it's easy to get to on the phone, but I find it difficult to get to on the console, yeah. which is ironic. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. so those things, I think, it, that, 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 that can just be adjusted, but Tony needs to address that because I, I think it's, it's confusing. I didn't like that they also split media and games into two different, like, like a parent tree. Like when the, the TV section was just in as one option on PS4, now it's just a whole separate area you go to. I mean, I don't know. I, I yeah. liked it before, the old way. Uh, well, but it's just, back off, it just piggyback off of Chris with the store, and I was mentioning it's like a lot of options that you see in the app version is not there. So if you go right now into the store, you won't see just a Black Friday sale. It's There is no Black Friday sale, but on the app there is. And if you go to the games and you search, then you'll find the deals. We looked up, we found Control Ultimate Edition, you know, and all yeah. that stuff, all on sale. Yeah. But the, it's not there in the app, which is kind of baffling because, like, you want to sell these games, right? You have a sale yeah. going on. And if you're on a PS5, you don't see that. So yeah, it's, it's those type of things you have to fix it. Yeah, you know, it's still, it's still you know, early yet and things that they yeah. got to, yeah. um, you go and work some kinks out, you know, right. no. No, 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 no launch. Definitely. Yeah, no launch is perfect, but you well, know. I think they'll, they'll yeah. add back things like uh, the folders are gone again. Yeah, that's the other one gone. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I would think they would add that back in because I found it useful on, on PS4. But oh, yeah. <clears throat> the storage, you know, of course, makes that a non issue because it's like, I'm only going to play one thing at a time and <laughs> erase it because there isn't like a lot of space to play with. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, um, but um, overall, I'm, I'm impressed. Uh, I'm impressed with how it performs. I'm impressed with the load times in the games. I'm, I may be a TT bit biased because if you go back and throw down, I've been begging for a Demon Souls remaster. Yes, a long time. So I may a tiny bit biased, uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, I, I mean, the game looks fantastic. It plays just like I remember it. Like, <clears throat> you know, I, I I get around. I, I remember where things are and whatever. So I'm I'm enjoying the hell out of it. And then I. I do plan on playing Spider Man again. So yes, I do it. Trust me, fidelity boats. Trust me on that, man. He's gonna be here with the plan. Yes, yeah. I do plan on upgrading my TV to the yes. recommendations. Hey, so. you already know yeah. me, me and Carl's yeah, already in that glory, man. So jump I, I, on. I will tag yeah. LG in those pictures. Yes, like you old rob your death. You old rob your death. The <laughs> drink. Yo, oh, by the way, Chris, here's the miracle of all miracles, right? Torrance Davis, right, our mentor, right. He hates Demon's Souls, excuse me, he's hated Demon's Souls for oh, years. Yeah. He's like, fuck this game, this game's fucking trash. He loves it now. He absolutely, he, he beat the fucking Phalanx. I'm like, oh shit, Torrance, good for you. And you know what it is? He, he won't admit it because Torrance is fucking hard-headed. The frame rate, man. The frame rate and the graphics, that, that's what did it for him. You know, because as you frame said. Rate, the, the frame rate? Yeah. I think the biggest thing for people is the frame rate, the graphics, and the loading. The loading, yeah, the loading, is the, the loading yeah. I think, the, really does it for a lot of people because it gets you right back into the action. You don't need to wait oh, for yeah. you, don't to, you don't need to look at that screen or you're you after you're dead. Reload the fucking um, uh, what's that place? The the you know the Nexus and all that stuff. Yeah. So, oh yeah. my god! Some uh, somebody should do a side by side because it would take almost a minute to load yes. between areas. <laughs> you know, was, you're looking yeah. at that, that art. <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, mm -hmm. meanwhile, you know, yeah, meanwhile, I'm yeah. playing with, with Chris and Brett. It's like, oh shit, I forgot an item. Be right back. They go back to the Nexus, pick up their shit, and come back within literally within ten seconds. It's fucking crazy, you know. Yeah, I mean, just to get everybody a sense of it, um, doing one, um, when Chris was talking about the dragon flying over one of the bridges or whatever, right? So they had the game, the original and the remake or the remaster or the remake running side by side. And when the dragon came onto the scene on the um, the PS3 one, it, it was there right about. But since the the PlayStation, the PS5 one was still going, right? They had to rewind the PlayStation 5 version back to the same scene because it was so fast that the PS3 one, it it, it just 
the loading, j- just to show off the loading, it wasn't there. It can't. It couldn't even do it, right? Because you was always okay. It's loading. You locked in the screen. You looking at the artwork. It, it's just it's a phenomenal experience, and it does wonders for the quality quality of life of that game. One of the many sweet touches that they that they implemented to that game. And when you go through, it's no loading. You just you go through. It, everything is there. You don't have to wait. You don't have to worry about nothing. If you die, just load up, go go right back in, kill the dude, get your souls, keep it moving. It's awesome. That's shit, man. The Mark awesome. Cerny dragon, you know, that thing moves mad fast. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and when you play, look, the, whenever they show the demonstration of this game, right, I don't know if anybody noticed, but they never showed it in 4K30. No, it's it always 60, always, yeah. Yeah, it was all within the 60 frames a second. Now, I don't know what it's running at. I know it's running at 60. I don't care necessarily about the resolution on that. It looks that damn good. Like, when just subtle things like when the lighting. And when you look at the water, right? I think, I'm, I, think I looked at that water just 10, almost 10 minutes because <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. Like. Look at this. Like, it it just looks so good. And then with the enemies, the details, the detail of the enemies when they come at you, like Chris was talking about breathing. And, like, shoot, when you hear the scream sometimes, it's like, oh, my God. Where am I at? Like, you just, you're just in this world. And another game I would like to bring up, Tony and I have been talking about this. I've sent pictures. I had pictures out on Twitter about it. The Pathless. Pathless, yes, yes, yes. Um... Just to plug Tony, he will be doing a review on this. This is true. PC Mag is coming. This game, man, when you... This is one of those, like, if you're playing Demon Souls and you need a palette, go play this game. If you had a stress day and you need something to relax, go play this game. The way this game moves with the dual sense in, in, in the performance mode, oh my God. When, like, everybody always talks about the arrow thing, but but... On this game, you can feel the, when the notch and the pull back of the arrow before she releases it. <sighs> Chef's kiss, man. Chef's kiss. <laughs> it, it is freaking ridiculous, man. Like, just that feeling. Like, when you just, when you pull back the arrow and you feel that, like, the, the controller's kind of fighting a little bit. Amazing, man. The game is amazing to me. I like it. I like, you know, I like those type of games. But it, it, trust me, y'all. If, whenever, if you've been waiting to get, your PlayStation Five. Trust us when we say you you will not be disappointed. I, I mean, if, if you are disappointed, I don't know what to tell you, but it, it is truly a transformative experience, at least in my opinion. You know, I, I don't have Xbox yet. I do plan to get. Um, maybe somewhere down the road, I'm waiting on Halo. You so went on games. That. Yeah, waiting on games, and I mean, there's stuff that I kind of want. Right now, Sony they they got the games I want to play in. There's more. There's more soon coming. I can't say nothing right now, but there's more soon coming. That's it. All right, guys. Any last thoughts on the PlayStation Five? I think uh, Reggie, that's oh, a good way oh, of ending it right there, man. This shit was dope. Just don't go on eBay and, and pay these. Yeah, don't don't buy, don't get yeah, these don't, motherfuckers yeah, thing. Don't yeah. mess with that. Topic, don't mess just with any of that. Make make sure them. these guys have to eat that cost. All those yeah, consoles, yeah. you know. Let them pay for their sins. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly, man. And, and one one tip I would like to give on that before we close out, yeah. man, just re- try to check your local retailers, man. Um, and just, you know, it, sometimes if they see you and you keep coming in there and they know you that you're looking for it, sometimes, just sometimes, they might look out. So I'm, I'm just letting you know. I got my own stories, but that's another story for another day. <laughs> there you go, man. All right, man. It's going to start doing it for us, man. So, Reggie, I want to thank you so much for being on, man, providing that insight, you know. No inside scoop, so you don't do that anymore. You're no, you're not at Weapon X anymore, right? Like, you're just Reggie now, right? I kind of walk away. I mean, I'm retired to Monica. Oh, hold on, Reggie. You cut out. Say that again. You you retired to Monica, but what? Um, I do get hear some stuff from time to time. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I, I still know some information, but. I just don't try to put it out there. You know, some people need to stay anonymous, and I honor that. So that's there you go, man. All right. Uh, where can people find you, man? 
Um, you can find me on Twitter at uh, Killer Instinct um, on Twitter, and yeah, that's where I'm at. If you follow Tony, you'll see me. Oh yeah, <laughs> you already know, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Mortal Show. No, we're not giving that away tonight. We're gonna be giving this away uh, sometime in December. Let me hold this up correctly. You know. Um, so yeah, it will, December we'll give this away. So stay tuned for that free copy of Mortal Shell for the PlayStation Mortal Four. Shells. Mortal Shell, Mortal <laughs> Shell. You know. All right, Manny, plugging. What you got, man? Uh, the usual stuff. Um, you know, excellence and um, you know the DC stuff. We got um, you know coming early next year. We got uh, Nubia from uh, Future State. Um, and if you have Xbox uh, games with gold. You can now get the game Swim Sanity for free. The game I did artwork for. Uh, they just today they just released a, a a DLC pack for it, so you can play that. I did all the bunch of artwork for, it. and we also got T-shirts for Swim Sanity with, nice. my, with my stuff on there. All of that stuff you can find on my Twitter. So yeah, you head out there, or you head head over to Decoy Games, um, and they they have a bunch of really cool stuff. So yeah, good stuff. All right, Adam, man, what you got, bro? Oh, we got some reviews going up over at the Coalition for some games. We got for Need for Speed, uh, the Hot Pursuit for Switch, and then we got a, a really deep breakdown. It's turning out pretty long for my Call of Duty, but I, I, I smartened <laughs> up since there's four parts of the game. I had it broken in four parts, so if there's one part in particular you care about, you can just read that part, and that's it. You know, and then that's it. And then uh, we got another episode of World Beyond coming. It's over, finally over. We got nine and ten. Mm-hmm. Those two episodes are coming together. That's what they're airing. It's two part, and we're just gonna bang that one out and and move on to when uh, the Walking Dead proper comes back in February. Nice, nice, good stuff, man. Good stuff. All right, people. So that's gonna do it for us. So make sure you follow us on Twitch and Twitter. Subscribe to us on YouTube and join the Discord where the conversation is always popping, man. You can find us on any podcast app by searching for Throwdown Show, and you can visit throwdownshow.com to listen to past episodes. Links to everything located down in the description below. Once again, our show is Tony Polanco, and tonight I was joined by Emilio Lopez. Hey, guys. Chris Seeley. Hey, take care, everyone. Carlos Romero. Peace out. Adam Vale. Have a safe holiday. Thanksgiving. And Reggie Butler. Take care, be safe, and have a happy Thanksgiving. All right, people. We'll see you on Sunday on at the regular time, man. Later. Later. This is...